We begin tonight with the Pix11 exclusive. Police are looking into a controversial incident. A woman walking the Herald Square had her wig ripped from her scalp by a New York attorney. That's right. This happened right here on West 35th Street near 6th Avenue on Monday. The victim telling us she has reported the case to the NYPD after sharing a video of the incident on social media. Yeah, that case now sparking outrage online with millions of views. Mm. The lawyer has been fired from his firm. Tonight, that woman at the center of the video speaking out to us. She spoke exclusively with our Anthony DiLorenzo. Anthony. Corey, Lizzie Ashley was headed home from a night out near Herald Square earlier this week when she suddenly felt her hair being ripped from her head. She instinctively reached for her phone and confronted that man who allegedly did it, and the Internet went wild. What made you think that that was the good thing to do? For what? For what? Why did you do that? What makes you think that that's okay? Is that funny? Well, that's just part of the 55-second video that the indie pop singer posted to her Instagram and TikTok pages, which has now been viewed over 7 million times. Social media sleuths uncovered the identity of this man and reported him to be Anthony Orlick, a New York City attorney who appeared to be out with friends early Monday morning. But after repeated attempts by PIX11 to get his account of what happened, we have not heard back. The NYPD says it continues to investigate the assault complaint made by Ashley who spoke out this afternoon for the first time. Everyone who followed and said, hey, we need to, you know, defend our women in cases like this because we can't, we got to make sure that men know you, you shouldn't be walking down the streets of New York or anywhere attacking women in any kind of way, whether it be her hair, whether it be anything. Mind your business. <laughs> And while Orlick hasn't broken his silence, his former Manhattan law firm acted swiftly and said in a statement online, quote, we take seriously any inappropriate behavior by any employee, whether inside or outside the workplace. This associate is no longer with the firm. We did check state records, too, and found Orlick has no prior disciplinary history and still has an active license to practice law. And Tamsin and Corey coming up at 10 o'clock. We're going to talk more about what we found out about him and the message that Ashley specifically has for this man. That's again at 10 o'clock.